sports gamer. There's so much bad in the world that we need to take the time and appreciate the good and have some fun doing it. While not every game that comes out falls into the best game of all time category, there are some games that, no matter what, fans of the genre need to play before they die. I'm Mike from Sports Gamers Online, and these are 10 sports games that everyone needs to play at least once. For this list, we take a look at games that are memorable for one reason or another that justify any sports fan playing. And to keep it fair, we've limited it to just one entry per series. At number 10, we kick things off with Madden 99. If you ever find yourself upset about what franchise modes have become in sports games, go play Madden 99. This was the first Madden game to ever feature the mode, and while it wasn't the greatest version of it, it was a pretty damn good first effort. Madden 99's offering allowed a user to control their team for up to 15 seasons and came with realistic NFL schedules consisting of alternating interconference divisional opponents. And in what's become expected in any like mode, players were also able to make trades, draft, and sign and release players for the very first time. Now moving on to number 9, let's talk about Wii Sports. Everyone who owned a Nintendo Wii owned this game because that's the game that came packaged with the system. It was the perfect way to showcase what motion controls could be, and was as pick up and play as any game could ever be. Whether it was your 80 year old Nana or your 5 year old son, anyone and everyone could enjoy the fun that was bowling or baseball. Even games like boxing and tennis were pretty enjoyable. Plus, boxing was a damn great way to blow off steam instead of actually hitting someone or something. Provided, of course, you actually held onto the controller and it didn't end up in your TV. At number 8, it's 2009's 3 on 3 NHL Arcade. As the NHL series began to get a bit complicated for casual players after the introduction of the skill stick, EA Sports decided to release a fun and simple big-headed arcade version for everyone to be able to pick up and play, and the result was pretty phenomenal. From the various power-ups that included the ability to make miniature goalies or get two goals for the price of one, to the back-and-forth gameplay, 3-on-3 NHL Arcade offered endless fun with your drafted teams. And though the game's over 10 years old now, it's still as fun today as it ever was. And if you're wondering how EA Sports decided to put NHL 3's in current NHL offerings, go back and play this because this was the inspiration for all of it. At number 7, it's Golden Tee Golf. If you don't think you know what Golden Tee is, believe me, you know what Golden Tee is. Golden Tee Golf is the game you see at any sports bar in America. You know, the golf game with the track ball that you use to swing the club? I'm sure that's starting to ring a few bells. This is a game that everyone has seen hundreds of times, but many don't want to spend the money on each hole. But take it from someone who considers himself a Golden Tee aficionado, you need to experience the feeling of rolling that ball back and pushing it as fast as you possibly can with the hope of hitting a perfect drive. And until you do, you really haven't lived as a gamer. Next at number 6, we have All Pro Football 2K8. Now, in the decade plus since its release, everyone still talks about how NFL 2K5 is the best football game ever made. Well, have you ever played All Pro Football 2K8? Even without the NFL license and just legends like Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, John Elway, and more, this game was damn good. It took the gameplay elements we all love from 2K5 and made them that much better. There may not be a multi-season franchise mode available, but if you look at what the all-pro football community has done over the years to keep this game alive, you can have hours, days, and even months of fun yourself. Coming in at number 5, we have Backyard Baseball. Pablo Sanchez, Pete Wheeler, Angela Dovecchio. The list goes on and on. The sandlot of baseball games, everything about Backyard Baseball was simple yet fun. It was a game geared toward kids, sure, but even teenagers and adults can find enjoyment with the game. There are different pitch styles, different bat types, and different power-ups that made each game feel fresh. From the list of unique characters and personalities to season modes that mix the fictional players with real-life players as kids, there are hours of fun to be had with this franchise. I mean, try and tell me you didn't love whipping out a crazy bun on your opponent to knock in some runs when it mattered the most. And at number 4, let's talk about NHL 94. Another simple to play game, NHL 94 is the hockey game that most people in their early 30s and up remember as being the first hockey game they played. A simple 3 button control scheme with easy to learn, hard to master gameplay made NHL 94 one of the deepest sports games at the time. The game introduced the one timer to hockey video games and nothing would ever be the same again for players. 
Though the AI kinda sucked, when you played with friends, it was couch play at its finest. Plus, the person who decided to pick the Chicago Blackhawks was well within punching distance should they deserve it. Which, to be honest, they deserved it just by them picking the team in the first place. At number 3, it's Tecmo Super Bowl. This was the very first game to feature both the NFL and NFLPA licenses, allowing the use of players and team names for the game. It featured 9 on 9 football, a full season mode, a play now mode, and some of the best gameplay of its time. And there's just really nothing to hate about this game. That is, unless you're facing Bo Jackson, but that's for a different video altogether because he's the greatest player in Tecmo Bowl history. The game gets updated every year with new rosters, and you can still buy cartridges with the updated rosters each year. It stood the test of time and is still great to this day. It's just really hard to put into words just how incredible this game was and still is. Now coming in at number two, it's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. One of the greatest boxing video games to ever come out and to this day is still talked about by many boxing fans and casual fans alike. With iconic characters and an underdog storyline, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out was a video game that brought people who weren't even close to being boxing fans to the TV stand together to try out and eventually take their shot at one of the most feared punchers on the planet in Tyson. Punch-Out was much more of a pattern-based fighting game where the user had to really rely on cues and hints to beat the characters in the game. From King Hippo getting punched in the mouth to trigger his pants falling, to Don Flamingo baiting you into punching him in the mouth and then countering with the nasty uppercut, the game was never short of entertainment for all who played it. Even though it lacked 3 minute rounds and at times believability, I mean, come on, I love little Mac in that pink jumpsuit getting road working behind Doc, but no way a tiny dude like that is beating a beefcake like Super Macho Man in real life with that tornado spin punch, let alone taking on Mike Tyson. But what it lacked in realism, it made up for with countless hours of fun for millions of people to enjoy. Now before getting to our number one game, here are some honorable mentions that you should still check out at least once. And coming in at number one, it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Now, while many will look back fondly on the original, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is the game in the series that really took it to new heights. From a great soundtrack to incredible depth, there was nothing that Pro Skater 2 didn't offer players. The game took almost everything great about the first installment and improved on it. Graphics took a nice step up, the game allowed players to pull off manuals to string tricks together, and players could even build their own skate parks. The game was one of the few revered titles that was available to almost everyone whether you are on PlayStation, Nintendo, or PC, and the best part was that it played nearly identical in every version. It's one of the highest rated video games, let alone sports games of all time, and is still played by many to this day. So sports gamers, what do you think is one sports game that everyone needs to play at least once? Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video goes live. If you like this and you want even more content, be sure to leave a like on this video and visit our website at sportsgamersonline.com.